Hey, it's Kevin. Thanks for stopping by another episode of Kev TV. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm still working on the colors. Man, I hate to think I'm going to have to take, well, real video lights and, and go the whole route and, and, and well, clear out the windows and block those up. And I, I That's the perfectionist in me jumping out. I, I've worked on the coloring, though, a little bit because you can't get in the far hand, left-hand side of the Kev logo the yellow that's really there on the screen. Yeah, I know it's not a perfect setting, and I guess does it really matter? Is that what you're really here for? Is beautiful video content? Well, we know the answer because all you have to do is look at me and, and tell that's that's not the case at all. Today we're talking, well, it, it, we titled today's video blog, Sadness or Madness. It's March Madness season, college basketball season. And, I mean, I've got a lot of friends who are obsessed. And it's funny where you figure... I was a college basketball play-by-play -play person. I did that to kind of help put myself through college at Radford University back in the day, back before they were a big south, uh, well, now this year, I think, what were they, um, 18 and 19 or 18 and 21 or something like that, didn't have a great season, didn't make it to the NCAA tournament. But I, I was such an avid, well, Radford fan, the university I went to, after going to Radford the next year, or the next basketball season, I ended up doing a few games for Virginia Tech. Before, before basketball really got to be the big business it is in college, before they had a full-time network, before they were concerned with having one of the small local stations cover a basketball broadcast, they were just excited to have us cover it, so we did it. My, how times have changed here 30 years later. But it's funny how so many of my friends get involved in the basketball pools, get involved in just, I mean, spending their days sneaking away watching TV, whether it's going to sports bars, whether it's bringing a TV into the office, whether it's listening through the satellite radio, however it is. Me? Yeah, I went from being a college basketball fan to just not caring. And a lot of that's just how my life changed. A lot of that how is, is how life progressed. I've talked about before how sports were such an important part of my life for so many years, and they just kind of faded away as I got older, as time wore on, and just, I don't know, it just kind of happened. So... I don't feel, well, I don't know if I feel sadness or madness. I, I don't know what I feel. I, I just know I don't feel anything. I don't feel what my friends feel. And what amazes me, it's one thing, I mean, you know, if you're a sports fan or you're a big football fan and you follow the season in and out, my, my buddy Boo is a big New York Jets fan. So he follows the season in and out, and he knows what's going on, and he plays the fantasy football thing. In the college basketball world, though, you're a fan of your team until the tournament, and then you start paying attention to other teams. And I get there's there's the gambling aspect, and I get there's the whole office camaraderie aspect of, a, of an office pool. It, it's just tough for me being the logically based human being that I am of, well, getting involved in a competition that you know you want to win, whether it's for the money, whether it's for the pride, whether it's for the prestige, whether it's just for the ego of wanting to win your bracket, your pool in the building, wherever you are. But when you don't follow the teams all year long, and I know real, it's the playoffs. So anything can happen. Cinderella's always upset. That's part of the, the beauty. That's part of the folly. That's part of the sport. I know I should care. I know I don't. I'll just go back to doing what I'm doing. These days, I'm still involved with taxes. You know, tax dates rolling around, and I'm trying to get some businesses closed, and I'm trying to deal with the state, and, oh, it's just a nightmare. And as much as I'd rather be paying attention to anything else but... I'll focus on what we got to do to get through the day. Good luck with your brackets. Hopefully there aren't too many upsets that throw you off, and hopefully not all those big power programs end up well, winning it all, as they always well seem to do. Another issue of Kev TV, always at KevinMason.tv, and, and you can always find a backup on YouTube too as well. So uh, hopefully you'll stop by for another episode, and we'll, we'll see you real soon. At least I hope so.